This is going to be a video on manual pressure techniques for tension type headache. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. Tension type headache is by far the most common form of headache with a prevalence of 48.6% of all headache forms worldwide. The point prevalence of chronic tension type headache in the population is estimated at 3%, but only 20% of those chronic headache sufferers seek medical care. In a randomized controlled trial by Castine et al. in the year 2011, manual therapy and exercises have shown to be superior in terms of headache frequency, disability and cervical function compared to usual care by general practitioners. A small part of the intervention in the study consisted of manual pressure techniques, abbreviated as MPT, for which only anecdotal evidence is available as a treatment in isolation. In this video, we will show you three manual pressure techniques that can decrease pain and increase upper cervical range of motion. Have your patient in prone position. If possible, you can lower the head part of the bench so that the patient's head is in slight flexion. This technique targets the ipsilateral rectus capitis posterior major. This muscle runs obliquely from the spinous process of C2 to the lateral part of the inferior nuchal line at the occiput. In order to reach the muscle, we will have to shift the trapezius muscle medially to reach underneath it. You can ask your patient to slightly lift his head to see the course of the trapezius muscle. Inevitably, we will have to palpate through the splenius, which is only a thin muscle layer that still allows you to palpate through to the rectus capitis posterior major. Now, apply pressure to this muscle with your thumb into medial and cranial direction toward its attachment. This will result in local and then referred pain to the patient's head with tension type headache. Hold the pressure 20 to 60 seconds until the referred head pain has decreased, followed by a decrease in local pain until only local pressure remains. Afterwards, repeat the technique on the contralateral side as well. This technique combines compression of myofascial structures with a stretch of the rectus capitis posterior major. To conduct the technique, have your patient in supine line position and place your index and middle finger on the posterior tubercle of C1, which lies deep between the occiput and spinous process of C2. You can increase your pressure by putting another finger on top. Then gradually increase the tension in the contralateral rectus capitis posterior major by rotating the patient's head towards you until submaximal pain is reported by the patient. This can again cause local and referred head pain in patients with tension type headache. And as you can see here, you can fixate the rotation with your own belly or thigh so it can be maintained in a submaximal position. Again, hold the pressure and the stretch 20 to 60 seconds until the referred head pain has decreased, followed by a decrease in local pain until only local pressure remains. Afterwards, repeat the technique on the contralateral side as well. This technique is targeted at the upper cervical joint C1, C2 and C2 and C3. To perform the technique for C1, C2, have your patient in supine lying position and support his head on your forearm. Then rotate the patient's head 20 degrees away from you and place your thumb onto the ipsilateral arch of C1. Afterwards, rotate your patient's head back until you feel resistance on your thumb. Again, this technique will elicit local pain and referred pain to the patient's head with tension type headache. Hold the pressure and the stretch for 20 to 60 seconds until the referred head pain has decreased, followed by a decrease in local pain until only local pressure remains. In order to target C2, C3, 
rotate the patient's head 30 degrees away from you, then perform an upslip movement at the ipsilateral facet joint of C2-C3 by exerting pressure on the ipsilateral arch of C2. Again, hold this position 20 to 60 seconds until first the referred head pain is diminished and the local pain has decreased as well until only local pressure remains. Afterwards, repeat the technique on the contralateral side as well. Unlike trigger point techniques, the manual pressure techniques are not targeted at painful taut bands in certain muscles. The goal is to elicit a nociceptive efferent stimulus to the upper cervical area that is innervated by the dorsal ramus of C2. This nociceptive stimulus has shown to activate supraspinal inhibiting systems like the periaqueductal gray, abbreviated as PAC, and the rostroventral medulla, abbreviated as RVM. These structures can both inhibit nociception at the dorsal horn. Although pain is usually only decreased on short term in approaches targeting the neurological system, anecdotal evidence shows that these techniques might have a long-lasting effect. Alright, first of all, thanks a lot for watching. If you are not sure if your patient is suffering from tension type, headache or any other form, make sure to watch the video right next to me. Feel free to like this video if you enjoyed it of course, or drop us a comment down below if you still have any questions. Please make sure to click on the subscribe button on the way out. This was Kai for Physiotutors, I'll see you in the next video, bye.